first experience with the vapor intrusion pathway uh, was back in my earlier position uh, um, with, the, with an oil company, and we um, developed this this model, this equation that's used to predict what the potential indoor air impacts would be from subsurface contamination. So it was a, uh, it was, at the time, I actually thought it was a one-off tool. We were just doing it for a specific project and it came up once. Um, but then as the, the need for um, evaluating vapor intrusion became more prevalent um, and more, it became part of more state regulatory programs, the model was used more and more frequently. The model is fairly simple to use. With my experience in using the model, I understand you know, we, there, there are a lot of sensitivities to, it, to, to the use of that and understanding the details of how the model is developed and how it may react depending upon different input parameters um, helps us in, in applying the model more, uh, more effectively. You know, a lot of times we do vapor intrusion assessments for redevelopment sites. And in that, there is no building to assess. We want to build a building in the future. So you have to do a model. There's no way to predict what that impact will be without doing some sort of modeling. It's commonly used for redevelopment sites, for brownfield sites. And so, you know, one of the things that I think from an environmental standpoint we want to think about is how do we reuse properties and not just keep expanding out our footprint into the, uh, into the world. And so uh, the, the main objective of the, the vapor intrusion pathway evaluation um, is to find a way to reuse these properties that's still protective of human health. And so we want to make them, you know, we want to make sure that people who are using these buildings over these, at these brownfield sites are not going to have um, inappropriate exposures to the chemicals that remain there. There are various models out there, but the Johnson Ettinger model is by far the most um, commonly referenced model, cited model, and the one that is most readily acceptable across the country.